All right, guys, and we're back. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed how thoroughly awkward I was yesterday, squinting in the sun, trying to do this on my back porch. Uh, today I'm back in the gym. I'm just gonna go through what we have today for the warm up, the strength portion, and the workout. So, warm up, you're gonna put four minutes on the clock. It's an AMRAP, as many rounds and reps as possible, just cycling through, getting the body nice and warm. We have four alternating lunges. You guys are gonna step forward, 90 degree angle, tap that back toe, driving through that front heel with every rep. Um, after that, we have four burpees or four up-downs. Burpees, you're gonna do chest to deck, stand, full extension to finish. If you're doing an up-down, you're just gonna shoot those feet out, don't let the hips sag, and full extension at the top. Then we're going into four hollow rocks. So nice hollow body position. Four reps here, core nice and tight the whole time. Nice small movement. And then the last movement here, we either have four tuck jumps, so you're gonna go all the way down, tuck up, or we have broad jumps. If you have the space, you're gonna spread out and jump as far forward as you can, repeating for four reps. Guys, the strength portion today, we have strict press. So you're either gonna grab your kettlebell or your dumbbell. Um, this is gonna be performed in a half kneeling position. So like this, you wanna make sure your core is nice and tight and turned on, squeezing your glutes, rib cages down, you're not arching your back. Everything's nice and solid, moving as one unit. Um, we have three sets of 10. So you're gonna do 10 on each arm, that's one set. And then you're going to rest, probably a minute, 90 seconds, give yourself some rest to recover, and then you're gonna go again. Three total sets, 10 on each arm. Um, if you do have a kettlebell, you can either do it normally like this, putting your hand out for support, um, if you want to try to challenge yourself a bit, you can do a bottoms up press, which is basically holding the handle like this. It requires a bit more stabilization in the shoulders and the forearms, and you'll have to go slow and controlled. Of course, if you have a dumbbell, same thing. You can try a bottom up press for the dumbbell, holding it from the bottom of the head here. It's a bit more of an awkward movement than it would be with the kettlebell. All right, and finally we have the workout. It is a double AMRAP today. You have two six minute AMRAPs. You're gonna have a three minute break in between. Um, as always with an AMRAP, as many rounds and reps as possible. Um, when you enter your score in Wattify as well, your total score is going to be the total rounds and reps between the two AMRAPs. Um, so we have three and three of kettlebell or dumbbell hang snatch. So hang means that you're not tapping it on the ground every time. You're going to deadlift it up. It's going to be a nice quick hip hop, shrug, elbow high and outside, then you're going to punch through to finish. So it's going to look like this. So just cycling through, you're going to do all three on one arm um, before moving to the next side. Awesome. So three and three. Um, after that, you can either reset or you can leave it up in the air on your final snatch and we have three overhead squats you're going to try and get all the way down here and all the way up three of those before switching to the other side um, if that position is really complicated for you um, and it doesn't feel good to get there you can just leave that kettlebell or dumbbell in the front rack position and do three squats on each side that way totally cool um, after that, you're still hanging on to your kettlebell and you have six rows, bent over rows on each side. So you're going to send those hips back, get some nice tension in the hamstrings, back nice and flat, core turn on, and you're squeezing that scapula back, keeping the elbow nice and tight to the body. You have six reps on each arm. Um, some things to think about, if you do have access to a pull-up bar, somewhere to do pull-ups, you can swap out pull-ups for those bent over rows just up the reps to 12, 12 total pull-ups, and then you're just cycling through again for that full six minutes. Um, you do get a break in between, so push yourself as hard as you can. And of course, if you have a dumbbell, all those movements are totally fine to do with the dumbbell as well. The snatch is just gonna look like that. Again, nice shrug, keeping it nice and close to the body. And then either overhead squat, Front rack squat, if the overhead squat doesn't feel too good for you, and then bend over row. 